Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Andrew McGinnis and Andy Lang of wagertalk.com. We're talking NFL Monday night, a good one. The Miami Dolphins, New Orleans Saints. We are now seeing uh, 39 being the total here, McGinnis. New Orleans Saints, minus two in the hook or minus three, depending where you're shopping, looking at the Wager Talk odd screen right now. Dolphins, Saints in the Big Easy Monday night. What are you looking to bet? Monday night football, look, six straight wins for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, you, you look at that win that uh, New Orleans coming off, uh, a 9 nothing victory, true, uh, for oh, them yeah. over the Buccaneers. What a win for them uh, in that one. Uh, not, not really an exciting game if you're watching it. But look, I'm someone that always talks about what have you done for me lately, recent form. But I'm also somebody that talks about who have you played, who have you defeated. And I think in this matchup in particular, I might break some of my main rules in this one. Uh, I mean, um, you, you look at Miami, they're on that six-game win streak, but beating teams like the Giants, like the Jets, um, twice, actually, uh, you got to ask yourself, how much does that really impress you? So they're on a six-game win streak, but is that really going to get you out of bed uh, to want to bet on this team? But we're getting points here. We're getting three points here. And this Saints team, I'm not sure if I can trust their offense big time. Uh, and I think Miami can maintain possession, you know, uh, they're battling some injuries uh, as well, but I feel like they still have the depth uh, at the running back position. They can, you know, kill the clock, control time, possession. Uh, I feel like two is coming into his own. Um, we're seeing him trucking people uh, when he's uh, uh, leaving the line of scrimmage and running the ball. So I, I see this being kind of a lower scoring game and getting three points here with this team that has been playing some pretty good football, albeit not against the top tier quality teams. Um, I, I definitely look towards the Dolphins, but total wise, um, based off, of course, what I'm saying, I like the under as well. You know, I think the Saints, you look at kind of what's been working for them, what's been good for them, containing teams, you know, when they're not playing the elite of the elite, I think they've been pretty respectable defensively. So give me the under in this game, but I'll take Miami plus the three here, Drew. Okay, looking towards uh, the dog and the under. Lang, coming to you next. You know, McGinnis brings up some good points in terms of scheduling. Yes, the Saints have won the last two games. Before that was a little bit rough. And on the Dolphins side of things, what, beating the, 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 the Jets, the Giants, the Carolina Panthers, the Texans, they're getting wins in the NFL. That's worth something. Um, but outside of the Ravens, and that game was a, a short week on the road for Baltimore, so it was kind of a good spot for the Dolphins. So a, a long winning streak here, but... You can make the argument, you know, who have they beat like McGinnis just did. How much do you factor that into the Dolphins and how much success they've had? And also, what are you looking to bet here Monday night, man? Well, just to, to take things one step further, don't forget that Baltimore team. That was a short week, and they were coming off an overtime game. So Baltimore True. was was dead tired. And if you combine the Saints and the Dolphins, they've won eight straight games Four of them have been against the New York teams, the Jets and the Giants. So uh, the, the New York teams, the gift that keeps on giving uh, throughout the – no, I, I can't point to one impressive win from either of these teams in their last eight. <laughs> not, not, not one of them impresses me. Uh, you got to be excited if you're a Dolphins fan as they're, they're getting Jalen Waddle back. Uh, is Duke Johnson their new featured back? Okay, but the Saints should have no problem bottling him up. Um uh, first off, if you're looking at player props, I would look to Jalen Waddle over his receptions. He's going to get peppered with targets. He's got eight or more catches in three straight games and uh, four out of the last five. So if you just want to take a player prop, that's going to be a no-brainer for me. For the game, I think it's under, uh, and it's it's, it's pretty easy. The, the Dolphins are not going to be able to run the ball. The, the Taysom Hill offense is just molasses pouring out of slowly out of out of a jar um there's nothing gonna there's not it's not gonna be exciting it's gonna be a lot of Kamara running the ball it's gonna be a lot of Taysom Hill incomplete passes a lot of Taysom Hill running and then some short passes for Miami uh I think the books have done done exactly what they should do which is just make this a three-point game but for me I'll take the under 39 points I can't believe I would take an under on 39 points but I just don't see where the points are gonna come from I think it could be a field goal fest and along with uh Jalen Waddle props uh, don't forget about your kicker props in this one. Uh, the books have over one and a half made field goals up for both kickers. I think you could play both of them, uh, as I see a lot of kicking and not a lot of touchdowns. Um, so give me the under 39, but really, this is a player prop for me. Look at the kickers, but more specifically, uh, give me Jalen Waddle over his receptions. Like it, Lang. Bring in the props. Sub 40 total. Hey, we'll go for some kicker props here Monday night. Andrew McGinnis, 
Andy Lang. I am Drew Martin. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Enjoy the Monday night football. So make sure to check out wagertalk.com. Guys, Tuesday, a good day to do so. We call it $2 Tuesday. The top handicappers, top play, discounted to just $2. Check it out Tuesdays, wagertalk.com.